in this video we're going to focus on removing the border line of the axis here and the grid lines however we still maintain these nice thick lines here or basically lines outside of the chart area so we're going to explore how you can do this because this is a very well sometimes a challenging part that sometimes if you try to change the color of certain grid lines or axis it just doesn't work and now you will understand how it's being built and if you understand how it's built you also understand why it responds the way it does so let's explore this in this video we're going to focus on how to remove the border axis in chart.js and to understand the border axis you need to understand grid lines and you need to understand how the grid lines are are drawn but also how the border lines are drawn because basically the grid lines and the border lines are two lines stacked on each other all right let me show this because it will make far more sense and from there on you can start to understand why it responds to the way it responds all right first things first i want to create a quick chart here so i'm going to my own website chartjs 3com and then in here and getting started here i have a video explaining the code down here what i did and why i did it the structure as i did but for now i want to explain this if you want to notice watch the video i'm going to copy this video now for this code put it in here and then what I will do is I will cut this out and paste it in here and save this. The moment I save the refresh we have this chart here and if you watch now very carefully you will notice that this here this border on the x-axis and on the y-axis you can see here this borderline is darker compared to the grid lines here and the reason why is because they are stacked lines on top of each other they're two times a gray line and because of that they have a semi-transparent effect if they're on each on the top of each other they become darker of course for now it's very hard to spot so what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to go on the x-axis and we click here on styling all right i'm using charges 3.5.0 which is the latest one that just recently came out which is quite exciting and in here we're going to give it first some colors here so let's work on this understanding the namespace we're working on the grid area here, meaning the options, scales, and then here the scale ID. The scale ID is basically depending on what you want to pinpoint, the X or the Y or the X, meaning here, uh, this is the Y part and this is the X part. And to be very clear here, the grid lines on the X part are these lines going up here, as you can see, because they're directly connected. So including here, there's a X grid line drawn here this is why there is a double and same here the y grid line that is goes from left to right or horizontally while the y axis is this line here which is a vertical line so don't get confused because they are just connected to the y axis here and this these lines here grid lines are connected to the x axis so what that means is well here on this grid lines here this has also an x-axis line and a grid line from the y-axis. Of course, it, this visually is very hard to comprehend because it's not clear to see. So what I'm going to do is here, we're going to give it a border color. So we're going to give the border of the y-axis a specific color here. And then you might be able to spot clearly what we're going to do here. All right, before I even do that, watch out. I almost make the same mistake as well here. Grids, yeah, options, scales, y or x dot grid so we say here we are here in options scales y so we're going to pinpoint on the y axis and then we say grid and then here we can say let's look at it border color and then we say here uh let's make this green for now and we can even say here the border width that would be a nice one comma and then we give this a five pixels save by default it's one pixel so you will see now you get a very thick line here all right so maybe you say this is nice but now i'm not able to spot the other line and that's correct so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it back to one and i will maintain it green and then what i'm going to do is we're going to work on the grid lines and we make the grid lines thicker but which grid line are we going to pinpoint well the x grid lines all right the reason why is because these are the x grid lines they are directly connected to the x axis so you will understand it immediately once you see the difference all right so we say here oh not in there but i want to make sure is this is the y yes 
So after the y, we're going to put in the x, and then we say here in the x, we put also a grid line. And then we're going to say grid. Let's look at how we can give the grid a proper border. So you can see you draw border, draw border, draw ticks, line width. So most likely this is the one we need, the line width of the grid. And then I say here, line width. Let's make this five pixels. If I save that, and refresh, now you can see very clearly there is there are two lines here. So you can see this green line. I hope it's really clear. It's quite tough to see as well, the single line. But you can see these thickness here. All right. So if I make this maybe three pixels, you probably will see more clear. You can still see the line here, but uh, the border width here and the green is still also visible. So there's two lines here. So if you're going to remove the grid line, you do not remove the border the border line on the axis here. So what I'm going to do here, we can say here the following. You say here, grid, we say display false. If I do this, oh, and it should be on this one here, on the x-axis, I'm going to remove this. As you can see, now the grid line on the x-axis has been removed, and the double line that we have here has been removed, and now there's a single line left over very very important to understand this especially if you want to understand how to give this a specific color you know now why it works the way it works so same would be how can we remove everything if you want to remove just only these lines here let's look at this one more time all we have to do here is to say draw a border what is the border the border is specifically on the y-axis and x-axis so those borders here which is the green line here so it's a draw border and then we say here false i'm going to remove this or i can leave this here that's all right and line width we will put this on true again we just put this back you will see now we remove the green color but we have the thickness here all right so that looks nice here so this is basically now only grid lines so same here if you want to remove the border here specifically what but maintain the grid line all you have to do here is draw border set on false if you do this I put a comma here again now both sides only the grid line appeared so if you're going to remove now the grid lines what you can do as well here you can see here draw on the chart area we can click on that and then we can say here you can remove this one you can set this on false comma Put in here. There we are. So now you can see these lines are starting to remove everything except these things outside of the chart area. As you can see, these are the ticks here, or the tick labels. Or well, no, sorry, they, these are the ticks. These are the tick labels. But now you remove everything outside. Maybe you want to keep these just for sake of clear clarity. So what we can do as well is we can do exactly the same here with this one. We say here, draw on the chart area. No. But the sides still have these lines here beautifully that will keep it clear. So this is the way how you play around with it. If you want to remove them all, you can remove the ticks or you can just say here display. So this on false. We also said here display false. Save. There you are. Now we remove every line including these ticks lines here outside, outside the chart area. And then, of course, we can work with the ticks here. But these are for another video suitable. However, this is the way how you play around with it. And this will help you to understand drawing the lines. Understand that there's a double line here on the y and x-axis. And this is the reason why when you remove grid lines, the y and x-axis will have still the original lines or the original color, even if you give the grid lines a specific color. So I hope this is clear. And if it's not clear or you need some help more, put them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.